When there was no war in our town, when all pro-Russian and DPR's meetings started in Mariupol, the first shock was when angry crowd attacked shooting team. The team consists of worldwide documentarians who arrived to shoot the film about street children, about their lives. For some reason they were identified as Banderovci. They attacked American documentarians, freelance artists, shouting, hit Banderovci. This is a great miracle that they were not killed. They were able to hide in the bus. Then the crowd started to shake the bus, bat it, shoot at wheels and windows from gun. The case was saved by one of our student, homeless child, since five years old. Now his weight is 140 kilograms and he's 20 years old, a huge guy. He hanged on the bus door. People beat him, tried to move him and pull out people from the bus. But he closed the doors with his body and held the crowd. I'm glad that all went without deaths, because indeed people might be killed that day. It was shock. These people also damaged orphanage bus with screams beat banderas. The bus had big sign, children. They shouted, Russia, Russia and broke the bus with the sign, Russia without orphans. This bus accompanied us throughout all Russia during bicycle tour. We traveled all over the world with the call for adoption. And this bus, which was gladly welcomed at Russia by thousands of people from hundreds of towns, was broken by angry crowd screaming, Russia. People were like animals. I've seen it for the first time how easy a person, people can become animals. One of my students in the past, addicted person, not the successful one, he spent near 10 years in prisons. And what a funny story, he was in prison on February 28, and the next day, March 1st, he became a representative of Donetsk People's Republic. And he arrived here in Mariupol for official negotiations. He was in prison for 10 years. Yesterday he was disprisoned. Now he's an official representative of DPR who came for business. He came to build new future. Of course you will be afraid of that. About Russian people. I like Russian people very much. I'm Russian. Those this war, Yanukovych and Putin did with me what neither Pitlura nor Bandera could do. I became Ukrainian. I felt myself Ukrainian. I love Russia and I believe in following. Against all odds, I believe that we will survive all oligarchs, all scumbag politicians. We will cry together, repent. I believe that we still remain blood nations and that Russian people and that Russian people will wake up from that narcotic condition. I believe that someday Russia will see everything differently. I have many friends in Russia and today they cry for their government deeds. Unfortunately, there are few of them. But this happened often when few people appear to be right. I have one rule in my life. I call it go across the tsunami. Some time ago I saw a picture of a small ship facing the tsunami. This tsunami is going to destroy hundreds of hundreds of people, but the ship takes the correct course across the tsunami. It climbs upwards, wave, and then go downwards. I believe that we should move across the tsunami. Tsunami of hate between our nations was raised by oligarchs and politicians. The tsunami of hate. I choose to go across the tsunami, against all odds. 
I love both Russia and Ukraine. I love both Russians and Ukrainians. But how politicians had raped the country, Russia, and brought Russian guys here to make war with Ukraine, this is insane tsunami. But we are moving against it. I believe that we, Ukrainians, will win this war. I believe that people who stood still at Maidan can't be broken with bullets in Donbass. I believe that we will pass through this tragedy and will still be brother nations. I'm sure that someday we will cry, repent together. Politicians will evaporate like a fog. All these Putins, Akhmetovs, Yanukovych's, they will roll away. But we remain blood nations.